Assalamu alaikum. The name of Hind Rajab, George Floyd, and Michael Brown. We reference them as names, but each one of them have a story, a history, a family, and time. George Floyd had a police officer on his neck for 9 minutes 46 seconds. Hind Rajab was stuck in a car after an Israeli tank killed her uncle, her aunt, her aunt, three of her cousins, and 400 bullets were fired from the tank on her. Both are connected by time, but also by the indifference, the erasure, the complicity, and the continued dehumanization of Palestinians, of black, of brown, and everywhere in between. George Floyd, last words were, I can't breathe. These are the words of all the colonized people of the global south. We all can't breathe. We can't speak because you have filled the room with your nonsense, with your arrogance, of your indifference and your self-centeredness. We can't breathe. Palestinians can't breathe. Black brothers and sisters can't breathe. Our Latino brothers can't breathe and can't, can't breathe. Our brothers and sisters from across the world. Gaza exposed the world. We say the emperor had no clothes. Well, we knew that he had no clothes, but Gaza live streamed for us that the emperor had no clothes. Never did have any clothes. And today is as clear as the sun that the emperor had no clothes. Whether the emperor is in the DNC, RNC, in Macron, France, or in the UK, the emperor has no clothes and the emperor will fall. Now I want to say a little bit about anti-Semitism. Not the one that Johnny can lately speak about. Anti-Semitism is baked into Western society. It is the spoiled milk that they suckled on, whether from the Inquisition all the way to the Holocaust. Anti-Semitism gave birth to Zionism. Anti-Semitism continues to be running around. White supremacy is well and living in this country. We need to say to people who try to use anti-Semitism to silence the Palestinian struggle, we say no. We will decolonize all those who claim the defense of anti-Semitism. And we will see a day where Palestinians Jews, Christians, anyone across the world will have a decolonized view of the world. We dream of a different world, not the one that was born to us in Western Europe, but the world that was in existence until it was demolished. I see the Holy Land, not as Amal K said, but in reality we see the Holy Land from the past. We see the hills of Jaffa, we see the hills of Hakka, we see the streets of Jerusalem, we see the streets of Bethlehem, we see the synagogues, we see the mosques, we see the churches, all have to be decolonized spaces where all the human beings are welcomed on a decolonized basis. Allow the merchants of death, the merchants of capitalism to divide us, to think that they're defending humanity while we are the ones that define what humanity day in and day out. A new world is upon us, a new world is being born. You are burning the new world. They don't want Palestinians to speak. Sorry, we've been speaking. If you don't listen, go and check with the doctor. People are speaking in here. 
People are speaking in Palestine. People are speaking in Europe. People are speaking in South Africa. People are speaking in Colombia. People are speaking across the world. A new world is here. A new world is here. A new world is here. It's being born. It's being born. When Nelson Mandela opened the door of the jails in South Africa, that was the death of colonialism. Colonialism will die in South Africa is dead and it will die in Palestine. Free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine. Don't let anyone silence you. Speak. History is made of people who speak. People who change history are people who spoke. Spoke truth to power, not ones who wanted to rip elbow with power. Free Palestine is a state of mind. You need to go out and actualize it. Free Palestine is a state of mind. Go out and actualize it. Freedom! Freedom!